Jones. In the last 30 minutes, state investigators have identified a local mother as the shooter in a double murder suicide. This is a new picture of Kimberly Butts with her 15 year old son, Caleb. Investigators say she shot him multiple times. The suspect's mother, Jan Kirkland, was also killed. A newly released report from the GBI says that she died of a single gunshot wound. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. New at 5, Action News Jack's Amber Kriska is live outside of that home where the bodies were found near the Florida Georgia line in Amber. People close to that family are telling Action News Jack's that they saw no warning signs before the shootings. Uh, tonight, they are just so shocked about what happened here inside this home. All they could say was Kimberly loved her family, especially Caleb, her 15 year old son. Everybody's in shock, and everybody's very worried about what's going on. Neighbors tell me it's hard to process what happened in their small community. Inside this home, 15 year old Caleb Butts, his mother, 39 year old Kimberly Butts, and grandmother, 64 year old Jan Kirkland, were found dead inside this Charlton County home. Investigators say all three had been shot. GBI says Kirkland's ex husband made the gruesome discovery. I just walked over to my daughter's house and they say people dead. According to this police report, when deputies arrived at the home, they noticed a strong odor of gas from the stove in the kitchen, and the two back burners were ignited. Deputies say they then found a woman lying in the hallway, and the two others were on the bed. Deputies say she had a gunshot wound to the left temple and a pink in color semi automatic handgun laying on her left shoulder. She's just a very loving person. Alicia Zimmerman, a family friend, says it all seems unreal. She says Kimberly loved Caleb, who had Down syndrome, and her oldest son, who is in the Navy. I'm just praying for the families, and I hope that God is with them. And I've been also talking to family friends about some recent health issues both Kimberly and her mother were going through. I'm going through those interviews right now, and I'll have that part of the story coming up at 6. Reporting live in Charlton County, Amber Criska, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.